Main article. Clone Wars. Perhaps some unexpected bloodshed on Coruscant. Ah. May change a few minds. Coruscant? Coruscant has not been attacked in over 1,000 years. Then it has a false sense of security. Nick's card and Lot Dodd. The Clone Wars began with the first Battle of Geonosis in 22 BBY, when the separatist crisis that began with the establishment of the Confederacy of Independent Systems escalated into open war between the Republic and the separatists. In the same year, Amidala became the target of an assassination plot while she was on Coruscant opposing the Military Creation Act. The former queen turned senator was saved from the bounty hunters Zam Wessel and Jango Fett through the efforts of Kenobi and Skywalker. While Skywalker escorted Amidala to Naboo for her protection, Kenobi tracked Fett to the extragalactic world of Kamino where he discovered that an army of elite soldiers had been bred from Fett's genetic template. Kenobi followed Fett to Geonosis and learned that several commercial organizations pledged their resources to Count Dooku and the Separatist droid army. Having learned of the Separatists' plan to attack the Republic, the Loyalist Committee gave serious consideration to using the Kaminoan clone troopers as the basis for the Republic military. Though the Jedi Order had long stood as the Senate's instrument of peace in the galaxy, the limited number of Jedi Knights prevented them from fighting a galactic-scale conflict on their own. Junior Representative Jar Jar Binks, acting on behalf of Naboo in Amidala's absence, proposed a motion to grant emergency powers to the Supreme Chancellor. The Senate voted in favor of the Gungan Politican's request, allowing Chancellor Palpatine to unilaterally create the Grand Army of the Republic. The Clone Wars became one of the most turbulent times in galactic history and the first, full-scale war in over a thousand years. As the capital of the Republic, Coruscant, already a hotbed of political intrigue, became a target for both military and political reasons. Situations and events that were unthinkable centuries before became commonplace. Even prior to the beginning of the war, changes could be seen in the Republic. The Senate, already corrupt and bloated, found it difficult to respond, delegating emergency powers to Palpatine. The Chancellor himself brought changes such as implementing the use of his personal Red Guards instead of the Senate Guards. During the Clone Wars, the Coruscant Guard was formed to serve as a clone security force for the Republic capital. Composed of elite clone shock troopers, the Coruscant Guard was led by Clone Commander CC-1010, Fox. As the Grand Army and the Republic Navy spread across the galaxy to defend the Republic, the Jedi, long taking the stand of being peacekeepers instead of soldiers, led the clone troopers as commanders and generals. The dramatic changes were noted by the Jedi and the Republic citizens alike, specifically on Coruscant. Unknown to everyone except a select few, Coruscant was from where the entire war was continually manipulated by Palpatine. As Supreme Chancellor, he took overall charge of the Republic military and directed the war effort from his office in the Senate office building. As Darth Sidious he directed Dooku's actions designed to continue the war and further his plans. During the Clone Wars, Chancellor Palpatine had the Zillow Beast from Malastare transported to Coruscant for scientific research, overruling the objections of his Jedi advisor Mace Windu. Palpatine ordered the Zillow Beast's destruction, but the creature broke out of the Republic Science and Technical Center and proceeded on a rampage across Coruscant's Senate District. The clone forces on Coruscant converged on the Zillow Beast, using poison gas to kill it while the Jedi protected the Chancellor. The Confederate Republic Peace Initiative was disrupted by the bombing of Coruscant's central power distribution grid by planet-side separatist agents. Consequently, the Senate voted to deregulate the banking industry, allowing the Republic to take on additional loans for the purpose of purchasing more clones for its army. Unbeknown to the Senate, the attack was supported by Senators Nix Card and Lot Dodd, whose respective organizations, the Intergalactic Banking Clan and the Trade Federation, profited from the Clone Wars. Public opinion towards the end of the war, as represented by the citizens of Coruscant, began to turn against the Jedi. Protesters would gather in front of the temple, blaming the Jedi for the military losses and the Jedi's loss of perspective as keepers of the peace. It was at that time that an explosion occurred at the Jedi Temple docking complex that killed six Jedi and several clone troopers and temple employees. The investigation by crime scene analysis droid Russo ISC and Jedi Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano found that Letta Termond, the wife of temple employee Jacka Bomani, had fed him volatile nanodroids which then exploded, killing Bomani and causing the bombing at the temple. Termond was arrested and held at the Republic Center for Military Operations. Tano was subsequently framed for the death of Termond, 
who was killed by way of the Force. She escaped to the lower levels of Coruscant, becoming a hunted fugitive while seeking to prove her innocence. After the military recaptured Tano, the former Jedi was put on trial for treason against the Galactic Republic. However, the charges against her were dropped when the rogue Jedi Barriss Offee confessed to the crimes that Tano had been accused of. Though she remained on Coruscant, Tano left the Jedi Temple after deciding to not rejoin the Jedi Order.